Hi, welcome back. In this session, let us talk about the rebase option. So uh, we already know in git, if we do a git pull, it will do a git fetch and then it will do a git merge. But there is another option for git pull, which is like git pull dash dash rebase. And basically in the background, it will do a git fetch and then it will do a git rebase. I'm Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. We'll discuss about the internals, how the commits move in in merge versus rebase option. So basically git rebase will uh, automatically take the commits in your current working branch and put them on top of the past branch or the remote branch in our case like in when we are doing a git pull. So and about the git merge, three way merge to be specific. So origin master or the remote branch is going in a different track and our local branch is going in a different track and both have diverged from this com1 commit in here and then we merged into and we got a new another commit in here so and then we were talking about the git rebase which will take the commits in your current working branch and it will put them on top of the remote branch or the past branch whatever you are rebasing so let's see so let's see how the rebase works this is the current state of the repository and this is the remote master origin remote origin master where we have bcom1 2 and 3 and in our local master we have mcom1 2 and 3 so, and we can see the commit ids which are all different here and actually the rebase option will try to put a single history or a linear history by preventing unnecessary merge commit if you see the merge three-way merge here we are doing an extra merge commit here but in case of rebase it will not be an extra merge and let's see how the commit ids change and commit messages in a git rebase so once we do a git rebase this is what happens so actually the our master commits here whatever the there were three master commits here and there were three commits in the remote repository so all the three commits in the remote remote repository stays as same but what happened is all the commits in our local master has been placed ahead of the remote master here so my mcom1 mcom2 mcom3 all have moved here all the messages still remain the same but uh, the commit ids have changed here 18 ebc here but here 47 and here if you see it's um, different it's b7 here and it's 1c and the last one of course here is different and if you compare that to our this is the log which we took after our rebase and all have changed here here so by the way we needed there was a conflict that's why we needed to add a extra because of that our commit message has got changed otherwise if there were no conflicts then it would have been the same same commit message here since there were conflict we needed to update we needed to update the readme file that's why the commit message has changed otherwise wherever there is no conflicts for example the remove few lines from new file and this is the remove file commit message didn't change but the commit id has changed 680 here and here it's ec7 this was before the rebase and this is after the rebase here so basically rebase will put our changes above all new remote changes and rewrite the commit history so basically our commit history will be much cleaner than what it is in the git merge it will not have many commits it will actually rebase will have a linear history of commits and by the way people do not encourage revising public or shared branches wherever you are working in a team big team with a lot of changes and all rebase is not okay it is not okay because people tend to lose the commit ids and when they try to when you push in your changes and then when they try to push in their changes and it creates a lot of confusion because the commit ids have got changed and there can be a lot of consequences on that so it's always advisable to do a merge instead of doing a rebase so that's all in this session thank you so much